Hey guys, welcome to Everlasting Memories. So we have successfully completed our scrapbook in first three parts. So if you guys like it, then uh, do let us know in the comment section. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the house card, and also I'll uh, try to share few tips and tricks that is possible from my side to give you guys. And guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates. And any requested video from our channel, then do let us know. I'll try my best to give you guys uh, the tutorial. So, and also I wanted to mention, if you guys are uh, planning to recreate this creation, then don't forget uh, to give the credit to us in Instagram and Facebook. We will be glad to see your creation. And we'll be glad to repost your creation on our page. So now let's get into the tutorial part of how to make the house card. So guys, welcome to Everlasting Memories. Uh, in today's video, I will teach you how to make this wagon. So you can see it is beautifully decorated. Uh, it's in light shade. And you can see this part. It has a window and it has a pearl texture and you can see the wheel. It's been decorated with the pearl. You can see the boundaries. So I am going to teach you in this video how to make this wagon step by step tutorial so you can see the front part. So in this video I will teach you uh, this wagon first I will take you uh, to this storage box so we are going to make this storage box so this will get open like this so this is the storage box where your album can rest so in the previous video i have shown you this album so i am going to rest this in this box so i will tell you how to make this storage box so in today's video i will teach you to make I will teach you this storage box then I will teach you how to make this base where this storage box can rest and all this boundaries how to make the wheel how you have attached the wheel every small tips to make this wagon and even the cap how we have made this cap everything I'll teach you so stay tuned with us so let's get into the tutorial of this storage box so I'll tell you the measurements first I will tell you how to make that box so you have to make a scoring of first 2 cm then 10.5 then 17.5 as per the album what is the size of your album so I have kept, kept the width of the album uh, width of the storage box so I have kept the width of the storage box so this is the width of the storage box as 10.5 and this one as a 17.5 and we have two sides right we have two sides so both the sides will be 10.5 cm and this both the sides will be 17.5 uh, cm so to make this storage part so we have to score first vertically like this 10.5 and then 17.5 and i have kept the extra part of 2 cm on all the three sides and here one side so that we can stick we can fold those parts and we can stick and it will make a perfect box like this so i'll just take you so hope these measurements are clear you can just note down i'll just hold it for two seconds so the height is 14.5 you have to see what is the height of your album so accordingly you have to make the height of the box So this is the part uh, where I have made a box. So this uh, going to be a window. So you can just take a measurement randomly on all the four sides and uh, mark it at the center. And you can just cut those parts. So I will just show you. So this is how I have cut my box. So you can see this is of 2 cm. This is 14.5, 10.5. So again the height is 14.5 and the width is 10.5. So this one width is 17.5 as we have the album in the rectangular size. So 
this part it is going to hold like this right so this is around 14.5 and this is 17.5 so we are going to fold this part so the bind part so that is around 10.5 cm and we have the base when we fold this part we'll get the base we'll stick all this part so i quickly make this so make a scoring press it well so that it just the window i randomly took 5 cm on both the sides i left 5 cm on both the sides and uh, height of 4 cm on both the sides and i've made a marking and i've cut the window so all this we are going to fold and stick those parts the card stroke uh, which i am using is of very high gsm so if you guys are thinking uh, to make it with the chipboards by adding uh, the connectors then you can even go with that but i feel making with this is the best one so the card stroke is very thick and when you add pattern sheet on all the uh, means on front and back then it's going to be little more thick so you need not worry about the um uh, longevity of the creation so we are going to fold all those sides so this is a part which we are going to stick it like this okay and this is a part which we are going to stick like this so let me just fold it first cut this extra so i am going to cut this part it is cross part because uh, while folding it and sticking to the other side it should not come out it should have the finishing so we trim this part little cross so now let's just stick this up so first i'm going to stick this part like this then i'm going to stick this part like this because first when when you stick the base like this this will be easier to stick it like this so you can see our box will be ready so i will just stick all this part you can use the tacky tape i am using uh, fevicol right now So 
so after sticking our box is ready as you can see we have this window already cut and all the four sides are ready so in this you can place the album easily so uh, so you can see the connector over here to hide that we will add a pattern sheets which i have already cut so i am going to stick all the pattern sheets inside to make the ba base as the thick one so you will not face any issue so i am going to stick all this pattern sheets like this which i have already cut so you can see this gives the best look so i am going to stick this pattern sheet inside the connectors are not shown so i will do it on all the three sides so this uh, paper pack is from everlasting memories so if you guys want to make the same project then you can buy this uh, pattern sheets uh, all the links are given in the description you can check where you can buy this so instagram you can buy and you can even whatsapp uh, all the details will be given in the description and also i would like to mention that if you guys are planning to make the same project please don't forget to give the credit as an inspiration you can just mention my name uh, that is more than enough uh, i don't expect much but i just expect a uh, uh, small gesture from you that you have learned something from me so if you can do that uh, it will be so great so sticking all the four sides so i'm going to add uh, the pattern sheet even outside to because it's a home decor wagon uh, wagon is a home decor it can act as a home decor plus uh, you can store memories so i want to uh, i'm going to add pattern sheets even outside so this i'm adding just to give a thickness so that the thickness of the box really already the already the card strokes are thick but still i want to add the pattern sheet inside because i don't box to look empty from inside so yeah one more thing i want to mention as this window uh, we are going to add ohp sheet so i have already cut that sheet so i have cut the ohp sheet like this so i'm going to place it in the window like this and then add a pattern sheet so i'm going to do this side I'm going to stick this like this then add this pattern sheet which I have already cut in a particular size of the window so it will be placed like this so you can see the transparent so I have stick this uh, OHB sheet in this pattern sheet where I have cut the window part so now it will be easy for you guys to stick this just like this okay so the our inner part is ready as you can see i have stick all the pattern sheets on all the four sides and uh, in the base now we are going to stick the pattern sheet uh, outside as well but i have chose the other color so this is the pattern sheet it has a very good shade so i wanted to use this pattern sheet so as you can see i will stick this like this by leaving gap and i'll stick on all the four sides then our uh, box the storage box will be ready which can hold an album so now i have stick all the four sides you can see i've kept the same pattern sheet uh to give the look so now you can store uh, this album as i've made the album in the vintage collection so i wanted to keep the wagon also in the vintage so you can see it can easily hold the album and it is very flexible so i'll just show you the front part so it will be visible like this okay now we'll make the base where the storage box can rest and we will make the wheel 
uh, that it it just look like a wagon okay so let's go so i have the base ready so this is the thick foam sheet uh, which i'm using um i have cut a length of 27.5 cm by 13 uh, cm of width so i'm going to add a pattern sheet in this uh, i have cut a pattern sheet so i'm go just going to leave very little spacing on all the four sides and i will stick this part like this before sticking this we are uh, we have to make the wheel we have to make the wheel ready so that we'll stick the wheel first and then we will stick this pattern sheet so i, so I have this four wheel uh, wheels are ready with me uh, it's of some random size uh, i have taken some uh, fabricol lid and i have just cut it even this wheel is made with a uh, it's of foam sheet it's very thick now i have cut a pattern sheet to add into on the wheel like this so on all the four wheels on the front side i am going to add this pattern sheet so we'll stick this pattern sheet right now so i have stick uh, the pattern sheet on all the four uh, wheel uh, so this going to be the front part and inside i will just show you how to add uh, how to stick the wheel to this so that it can rest properly and your wheel does not shake so what i am going to do is i have cut four more four more pattern sheets where so we will cut uh, all these four sides like this into two equal halves so after cutting this having this uh four circles into equal halves what i am going to do is i have cut uh, some random size of uh, of card stock uh eight card stock i have cut what i am going to do is i am going to fold this part so just make sure the length what you are cutting is uh within this within the circle okay so extra parts we will we'll just trim it off so need not worry about the measurement of this part so just cut uh, size which just fit into this and then we'll fold into two parts and we will cut this part so this is the part uh, which i'm going to show you how to join this wheel uh, to the base so that it just does not move or it just just it can just rest easily and we will fold this part again like this okay so we'll do this with all the stripe just fold cut and then again fold how to stick this wheel uh, to the base so we'll stick this wheel like this okay going to stick like this before that just take two stripes add fabricol on both the sides so oh, we will stick stick the stripes first on the wheel and then we will stick this part on our base so we'll stick this on all the four wheels so we have stick those stripes uh, on the wheel like this now we'll stick this part to the base so to stick we'll apply fabricol over here so now as we have stick all the four wheels you can see the connector uh, stripes i have added on the front side and uh, even at the back side to uh, just hide that connector stripes from the wheel so i have added the pattern sheet on both the sides as you can see okay now this is our front part where the uh box is where this box will rest like this so uh before that to make this little stiff i will add a pattern sheet over here so i will stick this pattern sheet like this so even this connector stripes will get uh hide okay and i will stick the pattern stripes even at the back side to make it little more stiff so after doing this we will stick 
this part of the storage box we will stick like this and we uh, we will even add boundaries to the part so i'll just quickly stick this part so now i'm sticking uh, this one here so after sticking this uh, those wheels are also stiff now before it was quite loose as it was not give, getting the strength now as we have st stuck this uh, part so the wheel are uh, stiff you can see so just stick this properly so once done uh do the same thing at the back just stick even this part so we will stick even this part so now this part is ready uh we will stick this part here like this before sticking this part uh, we will make the boundaries uh, so that it is easy to stick so i have few boundaries which i have already cut so i have some boundaries which i have already made i will just show you uh, uh, one small boundary how to make this and this we will stick like this and how we are going to make it stiff so that it does not fall like this okay so these are the boundaries which i have already made now i will quickly make one more boundary so uh, this boundary i have cut off 1 cm and i have uh, score a marking of 1 cm 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so this is of 6 cm and at the 6th cm i have just cut little cross so i will take this two boundary and just place it like this of half inch gap between the both and i have some of the small stripes which i have cut so i will i will stick those stripes like this at the equal point okay so i will stick four stripes first together so that when you uh, rest this part over here we have uh, enough uh, of width so that it can stick over here so first we'll stick this four parts so i i have stick those four stripes as four you can see now i will stick this part over here like this where i have scored 1 cm so just apply a little fevicol just stick this part equally now take one more stripe and apply a little fevicol on both the ends and stick it at the top so the reason uh, to add this stripe at the top is to give the strength to this boundary so like this we have made some boundaries already so now we will stick this boundary let this get dry and we will quickly stick all those part so apply the fevicol here and just stick this part like this and we'll stick the rest so now we have stick all the boundaries on all the four sides 
एंड वी हैव द स्टोरेज बॉक्स रेडी विद अस सो वी लीव दिस टू गेट इट ड्राई फॉर सम टाइम एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल जस्ट शो यू सो दिस इज द स्टोरेज बॉक्स एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू मेक द कैप आई विल जस्ट कीप दिस असाइड एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल शो यू दिस how to make this part so stay tuned with us and uh, subscribe to my channel for regular updates